Hey guys, and welcome to a somewhat of a move tutorial, more so a playstyle tutorial, whereas we're gonna be playing as Hentai's type of theme where he uses his kicks and he beats Grapple Warfare and Aikido Big Dojo at least almost all the time. As you can see, this is what we'll be showing you today, how to get this basic setup from his opener and generally this also applies to when he's in his grapple warfare and then like the opponents are basically all bent away from each other like in this other replay he has here. Like here, how he basically gets uh, DMs from kicks in this type of situation. But we're gonna focus on this opening part because the grapple warfare, everything you know in Tori Bash goes a very different way. So we're gonna be using his tutorial that he sent us and basically show you how he basically gets his his stuff together uh, with a few play around things which you'll have to work on by yourself with practice and experience if you decide to take on this playstyle. So let's get to it. So how Hentai always starts his matches, he usually contracts his pecs, contracts his wrists and holds with his left wrist. Now, of course uh, the opener stays most of the time, it stays the same from this point because both you and Tori haven't made a move and usually it will diverge. From here you would kind of do different things from experience if you do try to adapt this playstyle. So you will have to learn from it, it's not a one soft type of thing. You're gonna hold all from that point, you're gonna raise your shoulders, you're gonna contract your right wrist, extend your left wrist, you're gonna contract your left glute, extend your right glute, extend your right ankle, contract your left ankle, you're gonna contract your left knee as well, and you're also going to left bending lumbar, and sometimes you can also tell the difference of which way you're facing. Let's say he decides to turn his body facing right, like let's say he was facing this way instead of perfectly straight towards myself. So yeah, that way you would have to sometimes swap the kick around to the other leg and that would of course opposite all of these moves down here. So basically this would be like, instead of left bending it would be right bending, blah blah blah. You get the drill. So he, from here he kind of does um, all sorts of crazy stuff. Sometimes you can extend your right hip, contract your left hip. I think you should actually probably do that because sometimes his moves actually do it by default which is very odd. Um, you can also extend this left ankle as well. You're gonna have to play around with this move quite a bit but generally follow that sort of idea and then you can go from here and then this is where he brings in his kick. You bring the elbows down, you extend your pecs and you basically bring out the kick and here you're gonna have to play with uh, your glutes, uh, maybe your abs as well and also your, your torso here or your chest. And let's see, I, I'm trying to aim this thing here. Let's see if I can get it perfectly, maybe like this. Let's see if this works. Is this knee looking like it's going up? Maybe that will work, I don't know. Let's try bring it out like this. And I don't think that's gonna work. It doesn't look like it has enough power. This is, this is very tricky, it takes a lot of practice. Um, yeah, so let's maybe hold that one. Or relax, I don't know. Sorry guys, I'm just trying shit out here. This is my first time using this move as well. So, let's see, maybe I can do that. Damn, I think I didn't do nothing. <laughs> but at least I got a kick off, and sometimes it gets the DM, sometimes it doesn't. You really have to aim for the actual joints, not the, the torso things. Aim for places where it's actually gonna make contact with a direct joint. But generally, that's how you do it, and that's how you use his opener, and there, from there, you can basically go into all full-on rage combat stance or grapple war, and then like, work on his his kicks like he normally does. Like sometimes he doesn't make it as well and he like misses like that for that example. This is a, a game he sent me during or after the tutorial which went pretty crazy because he still he still won that and he like fractured his opponent to shit. So this was this was crazy. So he's all about the grapple warfare and you see he's got his legs and kicks there. This guy knows his torso and his glutes backwards. You guys should probably practice those a lot if you want to get into this kicking playstyle. So hope you enjoyed this video. If you do want to see someone else's playstyle, something that's like really famous, because I know Hentai has this huge famous kicking playstyle, and that's that's kind of what caught my eyes in attention. So yeah, so suggest anything in the comments below, and I'll be checking you guys. See ya.